everyone! I'm going to show you how you can write the code for the red light green light program that we showed you. The first thing you'll want to do is open a browser to makecode.com and you'll get to our Make Code landing page. Then you can scroll down and click on the Lego Mindstorms card here. That will open up the Mindstorms editor. One thing I do want to show is some of these tutorials. So the red light green light is actually a tutorial here um, that you can follow. It gives you step-by-step -step instructions for what we're about to do. Another really fun program is the line following program. So that's another one, good one to do with your kids. But for now, we're going to go ahead and click on new project to open up a brand new project. Once you get into the editor, you'll see on the left hand side will be a simulator that will look like our Lego Mindstorms brick. In the middle here are menus of different code blocks that we can use in our program. And on the right are our blocks of code. So the first thing we'll want to do for our red light, green light is open up our sensors toolbox drawer and find that color sensor block on color sensor detected. Now, once we drop the block onto our workspace, you'll notice in the simulator that our color sensor gets attached to port 3 on our LEGO Mindstorms. So for green light, we actually want all the motors to run, and um, we can add some flashing. So I'm going to open up my motors toolbox drawer. I'm going to find that tank motors block. That means both motors running at once. And I'm going to set their speed, let's maybe not set it to 50, but let's set it to 20. All right. And then we also want to um, add some flashing lights. So I'm going to open up my brick toolbox drawer, and I'm going to find this set status light block, and drag and drop that here as well. And we're going to change this to green flashing. Um, and then the last thing we want to do is uh, communicate that we've seen some green. So I'm going to open up my music toolbox drawer, find the play sound effect block, and drag and drop that here. And then using this drop down menu, I can select under colors the color green. All right. Now we want to do a similar thing, but for red light. So I'm going to right click on this whole block cluster and select duplicate. Um, and instead of green, we're going to select red. Now what happens with the red light? With the red light, we actually want to stop all motors. So I'm going to drop, um, throw away my tank motors. I'm going to open up my motors toolbox drawer again. And you'll see a block that says stop all motors. Go ahead and drag and drop that one in here. And then um, we also want, uh, instead of green flash, let's change this to red flash. And instead of saying uh, green, we can have them say red. All right. And then the last block that we want to do, um, this one was added by Sage, is I'm going to duplicate this. And instead of red or green, we're going to be, we're going to show blue since blue is Sage's favorite color. Um, and then for blue, he wanted the robot to move around in a circle. So we're going to change the speed on one of the wheels to pretty slow. Um, and that will make sure that the, the robot uh, drives her around in a circle. Um, and then we're going to set the, the status light to maybe an orange flash. Um, and then we're going to have him say um, something else. I think um, Sage wanted him to say uh, game, game over. All right, so that is our red light, green light program. Once we're done with it, go ahead and give it a name green light, red light, and um, click on the download button. Now, when you do this, you'll want to make sure your EV3 brick is plugged into the USB port of your computer. There's some instructions here for what to do. If this is your first time, you'll want to make sure that you're, you've downloaded the latest firmware onto your EV3 brick. All right, uh, I'm in Edge, so Edge um, prompts me uh, with um, with this little notification dialog at the bottom here. What do you want to do with this program file? I'm going to go ahead and select Save As, and that will open up my File Explorer. And you'll notice here that the EV3 brick shows up as a D drive on my computer. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that and just save my program file right onto the EV3 brick. 
And once it is saved, it's going to immediately start running.